Hello everyone, uh, I am Anubhav. Welcome to the part 10 of the blog series on OData. Uh, in the previous blogs, we uh, created the OData service in the system. Uh, we created the data model and we also uh, uh, implemented the uh, data provider extension class to implement the service. However, uh, we have not uh, uh, registered this uh, service, uh, neither we have uh, uh, created an entry in the service catalog. Uh, so in the in this video, we will uh, register the service, and we will also create uh, an entry into the service catalog before uh, testing the service. So if you look at the service maintenance, uh, you can uh, you can actually look at the systems uh, um, uh, where you want to uh, register the service. Um, what we have to do is uh, just click on this uh, register button uh, and then just say a yes. Uh, uh, what it says is it asks for the uh, technical service name uh, and the tech and uh, a mapping to the uh, technical uh, model name. Uh, this would be the external service name. Um, we just need to register this service. And that registers our uh, service on the uh, local uh, gateway. The next step is to uh, uh, register the service in the service catalog uh, so that it is uh, accessible from the outside world. For that, we need to go to uh, IWFND main service transaction and in our case the service has already been registered I'll just uh, search for the service name this is the uh, service that we created um, and everything looks fine uh, what we can do now uh, is is call the browser and test the service. So you can see the this is the uh, root service root URI, and uh, you can see the uh, three entity types here: flight carrier self, flight connections, and flight uh, schedule. You can also look at the metadata. the metadata uh, we can uh, uh, do a flight availability check uh, to do that We can also do the uh, flight availability check, for example. So let me just uh, pick this URL and post it here. Um, except I will change the uh, service name now to the new service that we have created. It should give me the right set of results. Yeah, so it tells me the list of the uh, number of seats which are available uh, what else I can do here I can uh, get the flight uh, carrier set uh, for IDLH for example which is Lufthansa uh, so that's what it gives me, the flight carrier set. So this is uh, how you can uh, um, uh, test the service by uh, giving various um, URI combinations as per the uh, OData URI convention and access various uh, resources. Thank you very much.